Hi, I'm Eric with Central Park Puppies. There's nothing like watching your new puppy run around your home for the very first time. We sometimes don't realize the amount of attention, energy, resources, and patience that puppies require, because we can get easily distracted by their high level of cuteness. If you're a single person or a family that has never had a pet or children before, we've compiled years of advice from people who are very experienced in handling puppies. And today, we will be focusing on how you should prepare for your puppy's first day at home. First, you need to have everything set up in your home to make the transition go as smoothly as possible for all parties involved. This means knowing where your puppy will be sleeping at night, where he will be eating, where he will be spending his time when not outside, what kind of food he will be eating, where his water bowl will be, and what time of night he will be going to bed. It's a lot like having a new baby come home. To introduce your puppy to the inside of your house, let your puppy know the rooms in which he's not allowed to go into with verbal reprimands. It's sometimes tough to say no to a puppy, but the lessons he learns early on will be the rules he will follow for a lifetime. If you let your puppy into your bedroom now because he's so adorable, he won't understand that the rules have changed when he's bigger and covered with mud after a day at the park. Introduce your puppy to his crate or playpen along with a bed, a blanket, or both that are only to be used by your puppy. If you are using a blanket, supervise your puppy in case he starts to bite on the blanket or gets tangled up. A potty pad should be kept opposite of the food bowls and bedding at the far end of the playpen. If your puppy starts to play with a pad, we recommend purchasing a pad holder. You can add a food and water dish and perhaps an age-appropriate safe toy to give your puppy something to chew on during those first few confusing days. You don't want to give him stuffed toys with eyes or parts that can be chewed off or choked on. A bully stick is a safe chewing item for your puppy because no pieces will break off that might cause accidental choking. Keeping your puppy in a playpen is a nice idea because it gives the dog more mobility inside the house and room to stretch his legs while still letting him see what's going on in the rest of the room. Puppies feel safe when they are able to smell and see people and other pets in the family. A playpen will help keep them safe from getting into things that could harm them and keep them from chewing furniture or shoes during your puppy stage. We recommend having your puppy start off with potty pad training until your puppy has received a clean stool test result and has been cleared by your veterinarian to be outdoors. If you choose to outdoor potty train, take your puppy out to your backyard or put a leash and harness and take him out to the nearest green space so he can do his business. You will need to take your puppy out at least once every hour in the beginning to avoid accidents and to train your puppy where to go. Your puppy will want to do a lot of exploring before settling down to relieve himself, but that is to be expected. Puppies absolutely love exploring their new surroundings. They'll do this primarily with their noses, which are vastly more powerful than ours. In fact, about 40 times better. Fun fact, the average human nose can accurately detect a teaspoon of sugar mixed into an eight ounce cup of coffee. In comparison, the average dog nose can detect that same teaspoon of sugar in a tank of one million gallons of water. That's about two swimming pools. Depending on where you live and the kind of home you live in, your puppy is going to want to be outside a lot. If you have a fenced in yard, that will be your puppy's domain to explore, go to the bathroom, get to know other pets, get exercise, and generally just be a dog. It's your job to ensure that the yard is safe for a little dog making his way into the world. Make sure to check the yard for rusty nails, other animal poop, or busted fence posts. If you know that other animals, such as a neighbor's cat or wild animals like possums or raccoons, come to your home at night, make sure the new puppy is never outside alone in the dark. If you live anywhere near water, do periodic spot checks for evidence of snakes, especially after a heavy rain. Also, keep an eye out for ant beds because puppies can stumble into them and get bit quickly before realizing they're in danger. Make sure to look online for pest control service providers that don't use any substances that could be harmful to your puppy. Spend time outside with your puppy so he will think of the backyard as a happy place to engage in play. Put your puppy out frequently during his initial month or two, at least once every hour and immediately after every meal. If the weather is cold, be sure to keep time outside brief and you may want to consider having your puppy wear something warm, like a vest or jacket. When your puppy goes to the bathroom outside, 
shower him with praise to reinforce that this is just the place for that sort of behavior. Puppies spend the first two months of their lives around their mothers and siblings. They love to snuggle all night and play all day. So your new puppy will want to do these things with you to form a bond with you and keep you happy. Remember, you're the one providing bathroom breaks as well as much needed food and water. Hey, your puppy wants to always be on your good side. And one of the biggest perks of being the parent of a new puppy is snuggle time. Pick up your new puppy and sit with him as you relax. Talk to him like you would to a baby, giving him lots of praise and petting and positive attention. This is how your puppy comes to be comfortable with you and trust the sound of your voice. Make a routine to play with your puppy either inside or outside a few times a day. If you are not giving him this attention, it can often cause unwanted behavior like barking for attention. Include a snuggle session later in the evening to give your puppy time to be close to you and wind down before bedtime. Routines are extremely important to animals. Getting them on a set schedule can make a big difference in how compliant a dog is to follow orders and commands. It's fair to say that bringing home a puppy can be compared to bringing home a human baby. You'll have to deal with the little accidents, the sleepless nights, bizarre decisions, and so on, just like a baby. However, a puppy grows up way faster than human babies. So if you're really frustrated with your puppy in the first few days or weeks, Remember that things will get better, and never ever take out your frustrations on your fur baby. There are laws against that kind of mistreatment. If you can't handle your puppy, it's your responsibility to find a good, safe home for him. Turning him loose on the streets or just leaving him outside are despicable acts. Instead of taking your puppy to a shelter or pound, see if you can connect with a family that would be willing to take in your puppy. Your puppy's behavior is the result of the amount of time you invest into training him properly. If you're unsure on how to train your puppy, you may want to consider hiring a puppy trainer that can share his or her expertise. Recommended training videos are available on centralparkpuppies.com. We sometimes don't realize everything that is required to properly prepare for the arrival of a new puppy. Puppies need someone to supervise them, maintain the rules, and care for their needs consistently. Make sure you think this through. If you are not prepared to be that person, this may not yet be the best time for a puppy to be part of your life. However, if you feel you are ready to bring a puppy home, please visit centralparkpuppies.com and follow us on Instagram, at centralpups, so that we can help you find the newest addition to your family.